In a previous video, I showed you how to make a five-pointed star using Spirograph's ring 15105 and wheel number 63. And in that case, we lined up all the designs from the, the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, up to 21. We lined them up with the same mark. So maybe you wonder, what would happen if we didn't line them up with the same mark? What would happen if we staggered them in a geometrically regular pattern? So let's try it. I'm going to use the exact same colors, the exact same pens, the Stabilo point 88, and draw the design again. So hole number one lined up with the mark. And change colors, as I did in the previous video. And I'm going to take hole number three, line it up in the mark, but then move it over one tooth to the right and draw the pattern. And now I'm going to go with hole number five. Remember following the patterns of the odd numbers. So here's hole number five, and now I'm lining, I'm eyeballing it. It's a little trickier because I can't line it up with the mark on the ring. I'm eyeballing it and then moving it one tooth to the right. Draw the pattern again. And then move over to the next color. And hole number seven. First I'm going to line it up. Eyeball it carefully and move it one over. And draw the pattern. And with the purple, now we're moving into a kind of magenta color and hole number nine. So I'm using the odd numbered colors. One hole to the right. Draw the pattern. It's a pretty color. And we move to hot pink on our way to red because we're doing a rainbow. Now as the as we move inward in the holes on the wheel, you can see it's getting harder to line them up because the holes get fatter. They're less the designs get fatter, they're less pointy, so I'm just going to put my pen there where it's lined up and mark it and then move one to the right. This is where it's easiest to make a mistake. So there's the hot pink, number 11. So get out the burgundy. So I'm going to put my pen right there where the line attached to hole number 11 is and line up hole number 13, the line from hole number 13, and then move it one to the right. It's very easy to make a mistake at this point. Now, moving on into the red. Now the red, this is going to be hole number 15. And on this particular wheel, now 15 lies up with, lines up with the next mark. There. 15. So now I'm conveniently lined up with a mark. Move on to 17. And I know it was lined up with this mark on the ring, so I can line 17 up with that and move it over one. There we go. And then move on to the peach. I just have two colors left, so I'll just use my little trick there again. Line up hole number 19 with my pen and then move one tooth to the right. Draw hole number 19 with the peach, co peach color. And then finally the yellow color for hole number 21. So I'm lining up hole number 21 with my pen. Then move it one over to the right. And now make sure I draw 21. See the line? For 21 goes through hole number 9 and then down to hole 21 and there we go. And what do we have? It's a pinwheel. See how different it is from and how similar. The same colors but it's splayed out in a pinwheel design. And that's a spirographicart.com's instructions of how to draw a pinwheel with the same ring and wheel that we used to draw the five-pointed star. You can find lots more instructions and tips and discussion on Spirograph and similar drawing tools at spirographart.com. See you there.